<laughs> uh, maybe we'll put it on our website. So the only thing I'm going to tell you is you, you have to get pretty cozy to the microphone. How's that one? Uh, yeah, talk. So give me your name. Introduce yourself. And My name is Kieran Murray. Okay. All right. Good night, you. Good. Good. Good sound check. 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 Yeah, check. Yeah. Check. Check. Just, check. Just keep those checks coming. <laughs> That's. Um, and we're going to be on your website, and then this recording is going to play on my little show uh, between 8 and 10 this Friday on, uh, on a KLAY, K-L-A-Y radio. K-L-A-Y radio. Say that again. Say K-L-A-Y. K-L-A-Y radio. Do you have to say it a certain way? No, I don't say it a certain way. I am, I am what I appear to be. I'm a retired Boeing guy who's masquerading as a radio guy. Right on. So what kind of radio show do you have on Friday? Uh, uh, Friday we do a two-hour, uh, it's kind of a talk show. I have uh, very local people who I line up to come talk about things. I've got people from the health department. I've got somebody who talks baseball because I love baseball. So we talk about the Rainiers and the Mariners. Nice. Uh, so, gang, on Friday from 8 to 10? 8 to 10. It's, as a matter of fact, we call it famously Franco Friday. Franco Friday, 8 to 10 a.m. Tune into KLAY because you can listen to a lot of cool stuff. Now, we're at Ignite You from 7.30 to 9, so they're going to miss half the show. Yeah, well, Bob, actually, it works out well because it gets Bob out of here. <laughs> and, and <coughs> For those of you who don't know, Bob McCluskey, the general manager of KLAY, is one of our members. That's right. And so That's right. You and he, he, he let me in. I can... I can attest to the fact that Ignite You welcomes everyone, even uh-huh. I waltzed in there uh, and uh, was not apprehended. We even let next Boeing guys. That's yeah. right, that's right. <laughs> Anybody can stumble in. And uh, we, t- we, we have, uh, uh, quite often I ask uh, the regional director from the Small Business Administration comes in and they talk about uh, uh, resources, you know, there's some cross-pollinization there with, with some of your members, I'm sure they talk about small business and what I call the smallest business, small independent individuals who are just starting up. Um, I have people from parts department, Uh, I try to avoid politics as much as possible. Uh, Smart. My wife and I waste way too much time on that as it is. There you go. But um, I have people from UW Tacoma, uh, the schools, uh, you name it. But we, we try to focus very local and that's why it's very logical. How'd you go from being the next bowling guy to being a, a radio jock? I always liked radio. Matter of fact, I in college, I, after college, I used to do high school sports. I grew up in eastern Washington, and and so I always liked it. And uh, I, I won't say it was the greatest decision I made, but anyway, here I am. Right on. <laughs> Who's doing the interview here today? So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah I, <laughs> anything else? So I went here at a size ten and a half shoe. And, you're you're very good. Because we're not actually we're not actually doing the interview yet. We're just no. We're doing the no. pre-stuff, so we're not even recording yet. We're just hanging out. No. <laughs> so uh, anyway, we're gonna we're we're going to do two things at once. We're gonna multitask. All right. They, 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 that's before your time, but they used to. That was a new word for people like me <laughs> thirty years ago. And so we're gonna be recording at least part of this can be recorded, and we'll be on our show Friday, and I Perfect. look forward to doing more of that with you and your members over time. So I'm going to remember, <coughs> and that's the key, I've more than once I've said, hey, let's start over again, because I forgot to turn on the recorder. Right. <laughs> so you are listening to Clay Radio 1180 AM. I am here with, we're very happy to say good morning to Kieran Murray. You and got I, it right. I got at least one of them right, I know. <laughs> And Kieran is, uh, so So, what do I call you, the major domo, the jefe of Ignite You? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Um, I'll let you ponder that. We'll just call it the co-founder of my wife and I. We started Ignite You. I actually started networking 10 or 11 years ago and then formed Ignite You. I think it was about five years ago. So, together, my wife and I own it. So, Kieran, I, I'm going to let you introduce. Uh, Ignite You is, is kind of the subject. That's why we're here. Go ahead and give us a background instead of me asking a bunch of questions. You go ahead and introduce. So Ignite You is just basically we're a membership-based organization. We're uh, um, we are a networking group, much like a local chamber of commerce, and we just do 100% networking events. So we have close to 500 members now. We have two meetings. Is that all in the local area? Uh, primarily um, in the uh, greater Pierce County area. Okay. We do have people come over from 
um, Thurston County, some from King County, some from, um, uh, some people drive over from uh, Kitsap County. Yeah, so it's but, all in the region. It's all, it's the greater Pierce County area. Uh, we meet twice a week. We're um, on Friday mornings from 7.30 to 9, and Tuesdays we have a lunch meeting from 11.30 to 1, and we are at the Great American Casino in the Lakewood. And we don't have any mandatory attendance, so people show up whenever they want to. So typically on a Tuesday or Friday, we'll see 100 people show up for a networking event, and people ask me, is this a monthly thing? I'm like, no, nope, this happens twice a week, and, and there are always different people, and there's different people that go to Tuesday, different people that go to Friday, and so people just make a ton of great connections and do a lot of business together. So really fun, really fun events. One thing, uh, Bob McCluskey, who is a, a pretty, pretty, he has a pretty good attendance record, yep. as near as I can tell. And uh, he, he took me to at least one. And one, one of the little side benefits, obviously you're in there and you're kind of you're kind of selling your wares a little bit, but a, a significant side benefit is you get to meet other people who are facing some of the same issues, challenges, and you come out of there with a lot of ideas. You say, hey, have you run into this problem? Have you run into this issue? How do you handle this? I think there's a there's a, a real benefit to that. Well, that's the huge benefit about networking is more than a lot of people just they're going they're looking for a referral they're looking for the business but the people that get networking understand that they they also have almost like a uh, built-in advisory board for their own business so like you were saying they find people who are going through the same thing so they can sit down and uh, if they want to meet with them later and talk to them and say look this is what I'm facing how can and, you know can, is there a way that you can help me and so we have a lot of people supporting each other not just giving referrals, but also giving support for their business. Or uh, the other thing is people are looking for businesses to do business with that they can trust. So they might ask for referrals for their own business, but they're also asking, hey, I need this for myself and I want to work with someone I trust. We have someone in the group that does that. And so they feel better about working with people within the group. And it's such a large group that uh, a lot of times when they're asked those questions, we have someone that, that does what they're looking for. So yeah, totally agree. It works out really well for people when they finally understand that networking is a more well-rounded than just um, I'm here to give you referrals or I'm here to get referrals. So let me ask you, you're a young guy obviously. Uh, In comparison. You, you've been at... <laughs> oh, 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 we're on the radio, they can't see. Everything's relative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're live. There, there's a guy with a camera <laughs> That's over right. there. That's right. Okay. <clears throat> so I, I ask almost everybody who does anything this because it's, it's just a point of interest. How did you you didn't just jump into the deep end of this pool. You must have been somewhere and you kind of evolved. How did you end up? We were uh, about 10 or 11 years ago, we actually were looking for a networking group for ourselves. We were working with a company and so we needed to find people to connect with. We didn't really know how all that worked and so uh, we were looking for a group. We looked at all the different things in the area. And there was none that really gelled with us the way we wanted to network. And I told my wife, it was funny that uh, my grandfather in Polson, Montana, when he retired, used to go down to the local diner on a Thursday morning. And so I, when I would go to visit him during the summers, I would go with him. So I'd be a, you know, a kid in grade school, and I'd go with my grandfather, and there'd be four of them. And they would just sit down, and they would shoot the breeze for an hour, hour and a half, whatever it was. And then they'd play a little game at the end to decide who was going to pay for the coffee and donuts. And I thought, that's the kind of networking I want to do. People show up, and they just want to connect. They want to talk, and they want to grow relationships. And then whatever happens from there, happens from there. And I thought, if I can find a networking group like that, we're in, right? And I couldn't find it anywhere. So yep. we said, well, let's just start our own. So we actually started our own at a local coffee shop out in South Hill. And uh, we didn't know a lot of people, a lot of business owners. So at that point, so my wife Sherry and I started this group. We started inviting people. And for the first eight weeks, no one showed up. No one. So this networking event was my wife and I. And so I would tell her what I did, and she'd tell me what she did. So it was a pretty short meeting. And then we'd just go home, and I thought... <laughs> Well, I hope someone starts showing up pretty soon. Now, most people, you know, would have quit probably on the first or second week. Yep. And we just said, let's just keep going. And we just kept inviting people, inviting people. And finally, uh, after two months, we had two people show up. And uh, from there, it started growing and growing. And we did a free group for about five years where we didn't charge any monthly fees. Um, and then about five years ago, we switched our, our format. But, you know, now we have, like I said, close to 500 members wow. and, and people in the area, they know us and they know it's good networking and so we have people coming from all over because they want to connect with people. So I smile at you. I, I grew up in Richland over in Tri-Cities, born in Seattle. And if you ever wander through Richland, just say two words, Spudnut Shop, and they'll say it's right over there. And it was that kind of place. And Richland's not a teeny town, certainly, but um, growing up there, that's that was the 
place people met, yeah. and you could even kind of count on who was in what booth. We were the young guys. We always sat in the front. Now we sit in the back where the old guys sat <laughs> when we were young. But you make relationships. New people move to town. I, I can People you know for 20 years were brand new. They wandered in there. That's how they met people. Yeah. That's a very human thing, right? It's, it's yeah. not a... It's, it's, it's not a program you plug into a computer. That's that's the real human part of these relationships. And that's what we really stress is just to be human. So a lot of people think that they have to have some magical 30-second pitch to be able to network. And I I just, I hate the 30-second pitch. What I just tell people is just, like, talk. Just be normal. Just like how you would in a grocery or anything else. And so we've got a format that allows them to actually do that. They don't have to do that forced 30-second commercial. And they can just talk and connect and because we do business with people we know, like, and trust. And so the first part is we've got to get to know each other. Uh, because if we don't know each other, we can't get to that next step. So, so many people want to, they just want to get to that trust part and do business in the first five minutes. And it just doesn't happen that way. Unless you have something wonderful to sell uh, where people are going to buy it, retail, something like that, it just doesn't happen. So that networking allows, the, that, uh, allows you to create that emotional connection. Because we always teach people it's all about creating that emotional connection, either with you uh, your product or your service. And if you don't have that emotional connection, it's going to take a long time for any transactions to take place. And real trust, which is vital, it doesn't matter what you do, real trust is really based on all that human stuff. Absolutely. It, it really is. And that's it's the same thing that might cause you to trust your neighbor or a family yeah. member or a best friend. It, it, if you can build trust that same way in your business, you're way out ahead of yeah, and the thing is, to, to be able to build that trust, you just got to keep showing up week after week after week and seeing the same people. So a lot of times it, it might seem like a slow way to build business, but it's actually also the most stable way. It's the best uh, ROI, return on investment. Um, even, you know, we talk about uh, Bob McCluskey being a, a member that he's there all the time, and I think he's got, I don't know, three or four radio shows going on right now with people from our group. Yep. Uh, I was driving over today, and I could at least count three, but I, there might be four, I don't know. But that has happened because Bob has been there over and over and over and over and doesn't doesn't miss very many meetings. No. And so people start to learn. Um, they learn about radio, but the biggest thing is they learn about Bob, and they learn to trust Bob. And whatever Bob says, they can say, you know what, that guy's not going to lead me astray. And so people then do uh, things that Bob is involved in, and so it works out really well. The other thing that is, is kind of an extension of all of this, as a small business guy, as, as somebody with a, a lot in common with a lot of the people who come there. It's also a great, um, it's a little bit of a great uh, laboratory. It, it's a great environment to try things. And, and you, don't, you don't have to jump into the deep end of the pool. You've got people there, and they've had experiences. And you can ask them, hey, have you ever tried this? Do you think about that? I'm thinking about this. What do you think? And it's pretty easy. I know when I was sitting in there, and we were just going around the table talking very easy to find points of commonness between yourself and others in that group yeah and that's where you really learn a lot and we, and we foster that because we don't have uh, we don't have a lot of rules matter of fact I don't think we have any rules <laughs> so we just encourage people yeah. to show up and we have people who are very supportive like you were uh, saying very supportive and loving and so we always tell people you know if you're going to try something like that if you're going to come out of your shell and do something uncomfortable our room is the place to do it because uh, people aren't going to judge you and uh, um, say anything bad about you because you did some matter of fact so we have what's called a six minute presentation every every Tuesday every Friday we have someone who gets in front of the room and does a six minute presentation in front of the rest of the room which is you know 100 115 120 people so that can be a little daunting and some people don't want to do it but the ones who get the biggest applause are the ones who stand up in front of the room and tell personal stories and, and, and about their challenges um, We've had some people who stood up in front of the room who shared some things that would, they, they totally blew me away. I couldn't believe that we were actually sharing those. And they got a huge standing ovation because our people are going, wow, this is um, what they call it as a family. And so, and Sherry and I didn't nickname it that. People just started talking about it's a family and, and that's, that's why it's because people are very supportive when we foster that. Karen Murray. I say it right? You did. Good job. That's, that's twice. I'm not going to say it again. I'll be, I'll be you don't go to the well too often. Uh, with Ignite You, I want to thank you for being here. We're going we're gonna to end the Franco Friday recording portion of thank this. Thank you for having me. And uh, it's really good to have you in. I would in 
encourage anybody go to the Ignite U web website. Um, it's on top of everything else. It's all for those of us who are kind of floundering around out here trying to make our business work, grow our business, start our business. Maybe we got three of us. Maybe there's one of us. This is a great therapy. Get out there. Get to Ignite U. You'll meet a lot of people. Uh, some of whom are going to be very helpful. Some of whom will help develop you. And if you ever want to come to a meeting, if someone wants to come to a meeting, they can just actually look up Bob McCluskey at KLAY and come as Bob's guest, and uh, right. Bob can show you the ropes. And make Bob buy your lunch. That's, That's what I say. That's my motto. <laughs> I love it. Okay, Karen, thanks for joining us. You're listening to Clay Radio, 1180 AM. That's the end of that. We're still we're, we're still, still being live. okay. Well, that's <laughs> we're still I live did, on our side. I wore matching socks. That's, <laughs> that's why, uh, I set my standards pretty low. Well, it's good to talk to you. I think what you're doing is very interesting. I I uh, I like to compare. I've got a, this small business. We we kind of do okay. We're not we're not doing as well as we'd like, of course, but we do okay. I spent 35 years at a great big company. Yeah. But I also spent a lot of the last 20 years working with airlines, and some of them were little startup airlines in Argentina. And so everything surrounding small business and relations, it applies everywhere. It, it really, really does. It's, uh, even if it's just in the workplace and the environment, uh, it's all good. So yeah. I think what you do is uh, great. I think it's very innovative. We have, a, we have a blast. It's all about how you connect with people and, yeah. and all those startups. and. They didn't get to be big unless they found a way to connect with people. So that's everyone has to find a way to connect. Yep. Okay. Thanks for coming in. Thank, Thank you very much. You. Appreciate it. Don't forget KLAY Radio. KLAY Radio. Eight to ten a.m. on Fridays. To 10, every Friday, as every a matter Friday. of fact. And uh, we're always happy that we we do a, some small business stuff and and very local things. So everything that's going on around here, you can. Usually I've got somebody on from the fair, I've got somebody on from the police department, I've got the schools. Awesome. Uh, guy who caught a big shark out in the sound, you name it. We I love it, it, man. <laughs> I love it. All right, okay. you guys, thanks for joining us. Okay. Thank you very much.